this new ETH method on the HP 53 graphene calculator, which I recently got. It's a great machine, and I still haven't figured out um, most of its features, but I thought this one was um, worthy of note. So um, here we go. We're in exact mode, and we're also in um, RPN mode, reverse Polish notation, which um, is a little different. Um, but if you have this calculator, it's easy to get to. Um, you hit mode, operating mode, I'm already in RPN, but then you get F2, choose, hit that. And you can select between algebraic, which is what a normal TI calculator would have, or RPN, which is um, pretty exclusive to the HP calculators. So I'm going to stick with this one. And, uh, alright, let's go. Okay, so let's say I want to find the exact value of the cube root of 5. Okay, so this would prompt me to use the equation x cubed minus 5 as my f of x. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit x here. Um, I'm, I'm also going to explain uh, how the keys work, and because it's kind of complicated. It took me a while, so I'll explain how I'm typing it too. So actually, I'm going to go into, um, this is right shift, right shift equation writer. Um, and I'm going to punch in x, and then this y to the x, and then I'm going to hit 3. I'm going to right arrow over to select the whole value, and then subtract 5. Enter. And then this gives me um, my equation x to the third minus 5, but I need to define it as a value. So I'm going to need to add um, f of x in front of it. So I go back, pressing down. Um, edit, which is F1, and then I'm going to right arrow over, and I'm going to hit alpha, F, which is F6, um, left shift, which is the white button, parentheses, where's the minuses, um, X, and then right arrow over, and then right shift equals, and then that gives me my equation, f of x equals x to the third minus 5. And I have that there, and now I need to store it. So I'm going to hit left shift, um, define, def, here where the 2 is. And that's going to store my um, equation as f of x in the variables, which you can see if you hit var right here. And it will show you in the um, in the little bar below that it has f stored. Okay, so now that we have f, um, we're, we're to, in, a, in order to do uh, New Newton's method, we're also going to need f prime of x. So now, if we don't um, if we don't already know, it's it's a simple calculation um, that's useful on this calculator. So we're going to go. Oops. Oh, I'm already in it. Okay, so we're going to um, type in our equation once again. So x, this is unnecessary, but I'm, I'm just showing you. Um, x to the third, right arrow, minus 5. Put that there, and then we're going to go left shift calc 5, which if you scroll down, 5 is derivative with respect to x. Um, and then we get x squared times 3, which is also 3x squared. So now that I know that, I can down arrow, edit, like I did last time, right arrow over, um, same thing, f, alpha f, f which is f6, um, parentheses, so left shift minus, which will give you your parentheses, and then... Um, Actually, for this one, you're going to have a 1, so insert F1 before, and then you're going to put your X, because you want it to be F prime of X, and then um, equals uh, 3X squared, or X squared times 3. 
So it should look like this, and that's um, f prime of x equals x squared times 3. So you're going to enter, and now that you have that defined, you want to store it. So you left shift, define, and it just stored it up here as f, um, f prime. Okay, now we want to do Newton's method. So, let's see, a viable guess for the cubed root of 5 um, 1.5 is, uh, you know, a good guess. So we're going to put that on the first stack, which is um, what these these rows are called here in RPN, RPN uh, stacks. So we're going to put 1.5 enter onto the first stack. Okay, I'm going to enter my value 1.5 um, three times. Okay, and now that we have F and F prime stored, um, what I'm going to do is operate uh, f on 1.5, so that's plugging it into the function we stored. So I'm going to hit f, and it's going to operate on the uh, on the lowest stack. So it's going to operate on one. So I hit that, and I get, get this value. So now I want to use uh, my guess again. So when I put it into f prime. So I'm going to right arrow, which gives me my guess again, and I'm going to put that, um, use that in F prime. Um, so then um, I get that, and then according to Newton's method, um, it's F prime, uh, or actually, sorry, F over F prime, and then uh, your guess minus that answer. So. I might write that out. Um, but So now what we're going to do, since we have 6.75 on the bottom, all we do is divide, and it divides um, the number in stack 1 by the one in stack 2. And then once we have that, we just subtract, and it's going to give us the first approximation of the guess. And we can do this over and over again. Um, I can show you one more time. So we need to um, get that back to three values, um, do the same thing, um, use f, get uh, the value back to the bottom, use f prime, divide, and then subtract, and then there's a more simplified guess, and we can do this until it levels out. But um, now I'm going to show you um, how to make this even simpler so it's only um, a one-stepper. Okay, uh, now we're going to um, put Newton's method um, into the calculator. Um, so as we know, we go back to the um, right shift equation writer, then um, we use x minus um, alpha f6 which gives you f left shift minus parentheses x right um, right arrow and then we divide that by um, f and then we hit 1 of x and that is Newton's method and Okay, now we are going to store that. Let's see, what we have it here. Now we're going to store that the same way we did with our other functions. So we're going to edit, um, arrow over, and we're going to instead, instead of f, we're going to store it as alpha n, alpha n, n alpha m of parentheses x arrow over equals so now we have Newton's method of x equals x minus f of x over f prime of x so once we store this which is left shift define then we can use 
our guess um, 1.5 enter and now since we have the function function prime and Newton's method Newton's method uses these two so now we can just hit Newton's method and it approximates um, our first guess if we don't if we want to get closer we hit it again Pro approximates our next guess and we keep hitting it until it levels out and we can see that it um, uh, it goes to 1.7 099 uh, all that business and yeah so that's uh, that's how you use it